Hi guys, it's um, Saturday morning and I just went out to a like a tabletop sale. I got there pretty late, about 9.30, 10 ish, because I had Olive with me and um, it just takes me forever to get out of the house. Um, so there were just there was just one table that was really good for me. A lot of it was not great to be honest, a lot of tat or a lot of things that I don't know about. So um yeah, there was just one table and on the table um I actually didn't spot this. My mum came with me and she spotted this. Um it's a Lego dinosaur and I've sold this one before and I think I actually got I've sold it twice before and around about when the Jurassic Park the Jurassic World movies came out, I got about twelve pounds for this guy. Uh, I think I've sold him previous to that for about six to seven pounds. So hopefully I'll be able to. I don't know. I'll see. See if I can get the twelve for him again or not. Um, you know, maybe now that the movie's finished, he's probably back down to around sort of six, seven pounds. I would imagine, but I'll double check. Um, uh, so that was on the table. This Peppa Pig um, snuggly blanket was on the table. Um, these are actually new on eBay at the moment for £11, so I'll probably try sort of £7 with free shipping on that one. Um, and this Playmobil set, this is a camper van. I've sold this one a couple of times and it has a few um, sort of accessories in there. I've sold that between sort of 15 to £20. I'll be aiming for 20 with this because it has got quite a few accessories with the bikes as well. Um, and this is, these are not baby clothes, these are baby doll clothes, uh, baby born and baby Annabelle. I've never picked these up before, but I think there is a market, well actually I'm doing research, it does look like there is a market for them. Um, so these are for baby dolls, not actual, um, you know, real babies, but for baby dolls instead. And it's just lots of little outfits uh, for them. Having done a little bit of research, I'm expecting to get about £30 back on that bundle. Um, and so for all of them, I paid £12 for all of that. So not too bad just for one table. Um, and then I nipped into a charity shop on the way home and there was just this mamas and papas, um, like oversized, it's called a granddad waistcoat, I think. Um, it's still got the price tag on it of £28. I paid £2.50 for that and uh, hopefully I'll get about, um, I think I'm going to try for 20 I'm really not sure. There's nothing on, there's one on eBay that went used for sort of £5 plus postage. So yeah, I think I'll just um, try for 20 with this really pretentious sort of reel of thread and button on there. So um, yeah, that was my Saturday pickups. Going to the car boot tomorrow, hopefully I'll get some good stuff there as well. Hi guys, it's now Sunday morning and our first car boot of the season opened up this, um, opened up today. Um, so we went along there this morning and um, to a house clearance market afterwards as well. I was really trying to be a bit more selective on the things that I picked up compared to last year. So we'll just sort of see how that went. I got all of these um, Barbie dolls and Kens. I paid, there's 30 there and I paid 20 pounds for them. But what I want to sort of show are these ones here. These are Monster High dolls. Now I've seen someone sell 15 of them for 70 pounds plus 10 pound postage so they're worth looking out for they're all the sort of unusual colors to them brand new these tend to be about sort of 18 pound each i think what you can do is and i think there's quite you know a, a good market for it is selling like all of the dresses and that type of thing individually but i can't be bothered with that i'll, I'll just put them on all one lot together and then um a few barbie dolls and there's some other dolls here that i don't really recognize that i'll have to do a bit more research in i don't know if they're brats or something like that but um yeah, usually with Barbie dolls, I tend to get about 15 for five. Um, so I'll just do a bit more research into, because these to me, they don't look like Barbies, but then I, I'll just do a bit more research, see what happens. Um, this here is just a, um, it's just a, max, um, a maxi dress by Next. I paid 50p for that and it's actually still got the tags on it. I imagine I'll probably try about um, 15, 12 to 15 for that plus postage. These mon monsoon shoes I paid um, 
two pounds for these and prices are really all over the place this isn't something that I usually pick up actually uh, but after watching Caroline's videos I thought I'd just give them a go um, but I think I'll be probably around the sort of the 12 to 15 pound mark and from the same store that I got this dress from there were these next shoes as well I don't think they've actually been worn it looks like the stick has just been taken off but not actually worn um, and they were only 50p um, I have to do a bit more research into what they'll sort of go for as well, but uh, yeah, thought I may as well at um, 50p. Um, these are just some baby wellies. They need a bit of a clean up. I'm not baby toddler we uh, wellies. Um, that is a good brand to look out for clothes wise um, in baby clothes. Um, so I paid one pound for them. I will save them for a few months, but there's not much in it. I imagine I'll probably get seven, seven, eight, nine plus postage. These I wouldn't have picked up, but um, Ali Tristan's mentioned these to me before, um, Gokwan ones. Interestingly, these have been discontent. well, this one's definitely been discontinued, I assume this one has as well, and I saw one of these go for £22 um, on its own, the pink one on its own. So I paid uh, £1 for both of them, and then there's a Ted Baker one there. I don't know how much that goes for, I haven't researched that, but I paid 50p for that. Uh, and then, thanks to Zaheer, or I think it's actually Zaheer's wife actually, um, who picked up some sort of vintage hole puncher that I looked out for this, um, or that I noticed it and sort of registered it. This, this is, um, I don't know if this is like an American brand, it says made in the US, um, but other ones have gone for about between sort of 20 to 25 pounds on some of them i can't find this particular model on there uh, i paid one pound but i think i'm going to try and, and go for that 20 to 25 mark on it um and then i just picked up another random one there as well just see how i get on it's a bit sort of rusted on that um this panasonic cd player and this philips one jamie picked these up they were two pound each this Panasonic one prices tend to be a bit all over the place, but I think anything from sort of 12 to 20 pounds, I don't know if 20 is a bit high. Uh, and then this Philips um, cassette player, pay two pound again. And I think that's about another 20 pound one as well. This Risk board game, um, I don't know if that's Chinese or Japanese, I'm not sure, I'm gonna have to do a bit of research, uh, but pay one pound 50 for that. Um, yeah, so just see how we get on with that one. And then, sort of the pickup of the day was this big box of Duplo in here. I was surprised it was still sitting there actually, so I thought she might have been asking silly prices, but um, she only wanted £5 for it all. And then as I was getting this video ready, I, I looked inside the box and there's one base put there which I didn't know was in there. And then there's also, I can't show it now actually, so I should go it out. Um, but there's another red base plate underneath as well. Um, and they go for about 15 pound with free postage, uh, about 15 pound on their own. So um, yeah, I think that's probably the best pickup of the day. Um, so not too bad for a uh, for the first car boot of the season really. So yeah, I'm quite happy with it. It was quite, um, you know, it was quite a good, uh, an average sort of one. Um, yeah, so. Uh, hopefully that was useful to someone and I'll speak to you soon.